Hello everyone and welcome to episode 12 of our Minecraft Survival Let's Play. In the last episode we fought the end dragon, we slayed him, we went to the outer ends, we got an elytra, and we made it back here to the overworld. A pretty successful episode in my opinion, but anyway, I flew around for a while, realized that the elytra's durability goes down pretty dang quick, so I threw mending on it. Ran up here to my XP tower, I'm healing it up right now. Uh, I think I'm going to get Unbreaking 3 on it, and then we're going to do some more exploring. But before that, we have a shameless plug. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to try and keep these coming as much as possible. So, I glided around to kill some sheep. Ran to my little villager stronghold. Put a bed down. And threw a whole bunch of food out because I want my villagers to get down the business. We need another baby villager. Can you feel the love? Everyone's looking at each other so deeply. It's amazing. So while we wait on the baby making, let's get some paper. And now the paper is no longer any good for trading because we want to use it to make rockets. Uh, we want to be able to fly everywhere. And I think we got enough rockets for right now. We're going to keep on making uh, until we use all our paper up. But we got almost a full inventory of just rockets. So just gliding around in circles around my base, I... Uh, Notice the jungle. We've never actually went that far uh, into the jungle, but the jungle on the way to the Woodland Mansion actually had this temple. So let's see if there's anything in here. There was nothing there except trash. So we, uh, I forgot some wood. That was my whole reason for flying. Actually, I was flying to the Dark Forest. So we could burn it in this furnace. I'm going to bake me some more potatoes. Made a lectern so I can make a another librarian. We're just going to have an army of librarians. Mission successful. We now have a little baby villager. And he's talking to his dad. How cute. One of them is your dad anyway. I don't know who. You guys know the deal by now. I sat here and broke a lectern over and over and over and changed this guy profession back and forth until I got Unbreaking 3. Uh, I did get some other good ones, but um, I really want my elytra to last a while. I don't want to risk it breaking when I'm in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, we're going to get Unbreaking 3. And there you have it, an elytra with mending and unbreaking three. So at this point, there was really a lot. I just wanted to go explore, honestly. Now that I had the ability to fly, I just wanted to, well, fly everywhere. This is the Woodland Mansion we raided earlier. Half in the jungle, half in the dark forest. Uh, these things are absolutely monstrous. You don't really get a scale for how big it is until you come outside and see just the roof of this thing. This thing is so big. And at this point, I take off again just in the random direction away from the Woodland Mansion. And I really wanted to make sure I had this whole journey and showed this whole journey in the episode because uh, I kind of even got turned around a few times. I found an end portal, not end portal, nether portal. Nothing was there. Found this really cool lush cave, thought about going down. But then I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to fly back up in the air. And what was over there? That's not the same Woodland Mansion that we explored earlier. This is a completely different one. I was actually thought I was turned around or something. You see, this one has like a much bigger base and stuff. So uh, I really wanted to show that whole little flight because I know these things are incredibly rare. And the fact that there's two this close together, literally less than a thousand blocks away from each other, probably about 800. Uh, so I think you guys know what's coming. We're about to go get some vengeance from all those deaths that happened earlier. So we're going to watch me speed run this with the mansion. In the first room from the window I broke in, we're actually on the top floor. There is a giant chicken. Never seen this before. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting. I thought, well, if the face can hide stuff, maybe this is hiding something. So I broke them apart. And then I just decided, well, I need a bunch of wool anyway. So, uh, I don't have to worry about it in the future. So I got a bunch of white wool. Found this face. This one did have a secret room behind it. There was nothing there. So just kept on going. Vindicators, no problem. They can't even hardly hurt me anymore. They have a serious problem with overgrowth as everything is growing into their mansion. As I was running around, also, I came across uh, three different evokers. There's one. Bam, dead. No problem. Couple arrows with this power four bow. No, no issues. We end up getting all three totems of undying. There's another one. Dead. So we're just going to keep on going through and more Vindicators. No no problem. Two of you? Eh, you guys don't stand a chance against me. Just just go lay down and die already. Third Evoker down. So anyway, I just keep going through. This was definitely a better mansion in general just because there wasn't like a bunch of rooms dedicated to trees. I did get a jack-o'-lantern there. No reason why. Just thought I'd put it on my porch later. 
Found these cool little fairies. Have no idea what they do, but they don't hurt you. So I'm guessing they're the good version of the uh, evokers, little fairies that he summoned. So anyway, they sat there for a minute and then they just hung out in the mansion and I left. I, I didn't really know what they did. Uh, I'll probably look it up later. But anyway, we have completed the Woodland Mansion, gone three tomes of Undying, and all in about 10 minutes. Compared to the other one, that took hours and 10 deaths. So, yeah, what a difference iron to netherite armor can make. Uh, we just tore that place up. Nothing even came close. At this point, I think we're going to head back and stash these totems. Always good to have some totems of Undying on hand. So, let's get back to our house. So one of my other goals was to fight the Wither. Um, I'm going to say I spent a very, very, very long time in the Nether trying to get Wither Skulls. And to just give you an idea of how long, this is 8 times speed, of course, and we're going to shoot around, and yeah, the blazes don't really count as anything. But I was loaded with Wither Skeletons here. I killed probably 30 to 40 Wither Skeletons while I was here. Now... I didn't have looting or anything. I didn't even think about it. I just thought, well, if I go there, I know you need these Wither Skeleton Skulls. I'm just going to go kill them. You see me tearing them up. They can't do anything to me anymore. Uh, occasionally, I get maybe to half hearts if I run to a whole bunch of enemies at once. But I run through this place. I kill skeletons. They respawn. I just keep doing this for probably about 40 minutes. I don't get a single Wither Skeleton Skull. And then I looked up that these things are incredibly rare. And I, me being hard-headed, I sat there, I kept going. I have some more footage of me doing this for even longer, but eventually I do go back and decide that I really want to get looting on a sword. Uh, this also proved to be a challenge because I didn't want to wait on a villager. I actually just flew around there for fun for a minute, but anyway, I uh, decide the best way is probably going to be I'm just going to make some diamond swords and hope I get an, a looting enchant. So I did just that. I made a bunch of diamond swords and I mean probably about 10 and I enchanted them all with something to switch the enchants up and eventually the best I got was looting one which was a huge disappointment. I was hoping for at least two or three. Um, we're going to try and get some wither skeleton skulls though. We're going to keep trying. I really do want to fight the wither. And I just keep going, and I, I don't get anything better. Maybe maybe it's Pumpkinhead's fault. Maybe his luck has ran out, but either way, um, I think we're going to go hit the nether one more time with a looting one sword and just see if we can get lucky and get one or two. So that's what we did. We went back into the nether, and this time the fortress was full of zombie piglin. Uh, last time it was full of weather skeletons and this time it seems like we're having to just search and search and search to even find uh, a weather skeleton to kill but we killed probably about 15 over a 20 to 30 minute period and got nothing uh, at this point pretty disappointed I actually go and start my next playthrough for a little while uh, just because this was getting on my nerves that how rare this drop is and to some of you are saying, oh, that's rare drops. You have to just go at it for hours. But, you know, if I record myself fighting Weather Skeleton for four hours, then that's an episode that doesn't get put out one day. So, uh, yeah, there's a sacrifice to be made. So I'm going to keep at this, and eventually I'm going to come back and try again. I'm going to try. I'll use all my diamonds if I have to. I want to get a better looting sword so I have the best chance possible. At this point, I was a little uh, worried, but you know what? I said, screw it. I'm going to fight the wither one way or another. So I sat there and made like another 20 swords. And finally, uh, it's not the one on screen, but I do get a looting two sword uh, with a bunch of other little enchantments on. Not any good. But anyway, we got looting two at the very least. So we're going to go try and farm skulls again. And so we did just that. We charged through the fortress again, gotten a lot better, uh, getting a lot better drops with, uh, not drop spawns, because we actually got a lot of wither skeletons now. No wither skulls though, or wither skeleton skulls, whatever they're called. We shot through here, we killed a ton of them and got zero. Zip, nulch, nada, nothing. And then this happened. 
on the way out i was done at this point guys i had been here for another 30 to 40 minutes at this point i had wasted like three hours farming skulls with zero luck uh between the you know getting the looting swords and all that about three hours and i just can't sacrifice making videos to get you know one fight in one few minute fight so but anyway you saw i just got a wither skull that was uh pretty freaking amazing and on the way out so kind of renewed my hope and i said you know what i'll stick around and i'll give it like uh 45 minutes at most if i don't get another one then i'm done and there you see it the second wither skull but this is not a few minutes later. This is 30 minutes after that last one. So I was uh, getting pretty fed up. And, you know, I was pretty close to quitting a few times. But I got the second skull. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the nether for a brief time. Had real life stuff to do. So had to uh, take a break. But we are going to come back. Knowing that any skull could be our last one. Any skeleton we kill could be the very last one. Kind of renewed my energy. And then I forgot to hit record, but I went back to the nether and uh, probably it was probably a 30 minute, 30 minute grind, but we got the last wither skull. Oh, finally. So I got the wither skull and then when I came back and was about to prepare to go fight him, I realized, oh, I, I didn't ever hit record when I went back. So yeah, that kind of sucked. I didn't get to show me again the third one. It was just a lot more grinding wither skeletons. I'm sure you guys have seen enough of that. But anyway. I'm looking for a good spot to fight him. I don't want to be anywhere near my base. I know he drops bombs and all that stuff. I think in like over here in the savannah where it's nice and open for the most part. Got a little bit of trees for cover. I think we're going to go right on top of this hill. This looks like the perfect spot. And then I started trying to spawn him and he would not spawn. And I got to say I was so confused because this is actually my second time fighting him. I fought him the first time. Forgot to hit record. I'd stepped away for just a minute to do something in real life and then... Spawned him, beat him. It was a close fight. It was a much better fight than the second one, I have to say. And ended up beating him and then realized I never hit record. So I did not want to miss out on this fight. So luckily I had a backup save. I ended up having to go get that. I had done one after I had two wither skulls. So I had to go back and get a third with another wither skull, which only took about 10 minutes, luckily for me. But we got it. We came back over here. To our little plateau spot and he wanted spawn and then i looked up and realized oh i think it's the grass is like kind of stopping him eventually i figure it out and there he is guys the one and only weather uh i guess he has like that invincibility or something like that when he first spawns it's kind of annoying but anyway i just sat here and waited as soon as he turns and i miss and then i realized oh i left my elytra on I'm, i need my netherite chest plate on so I uh, made, you know, a little mistake, but that's all right. We're going to go around. Maybe you can fight him with the elytra on and fly up high above him or something. I don't know, but I, uh, I've seen other people use a bow mainly at the beginning. So I end up fighting him. You see, he's really kicking my butt in this fight. And in the other fight, I actually did really good at running, shooting, running, shooting. In this fight, not so much, but I run over here and then he gets stuck in the tree and, you know, I'm going to take it considering he was uh, kicking my ass for the first few seconds of that fight. But I end up getting him below half because of the tree's help, basically. And with the tree's help, yeah, we end up getting him down to below half. And he goes into his little, whatever it's called, berserk mode. I don't know. He's uh, easier and harder in this form because he comes right up on you. So I get to whack him with the sword a lot. But you see, he gets me really close to death. I do manage to get away uh away as she's like right behind me but I, I get to eat my food which really saved my life and then here i just go you know what i'm gonna attack him he's low enough i can get the resistances from my totem and i can sit here and just whack him until he dies and we'll see who's standing at the end and it's me we got our nether star i think it's called it's for beacons or something i don't know but i've never built a beacon but anyway we have killed the wither and that was uh, not as exciting as the other fight. The other fight ended with me falling in a ravine and then him following me in and us fighting to death on the edge of a cliff over there. But, um, you know, since I didn't hit record, that's uh, this is what we get. At this point, I want to thank everyone for watching this whole series. It's been really fun. I'm planning on continuing this series at some point. 
But for right now, I'm going to focus on my other Minecraft survival uh, series that you might see an episode for any day now. It is Minecraft surviving on an island. It's a little tiny jungle island. You'll have to watch to see more, but it's like a thousand blocks from any mainland. And I'm making, it's also on hard mode. This is on normal and no going to the mainland, some other rules like that. But anyway, as we fly around, look at one last view of this world for this series. It's been an absolute blast and so fun coming back to Minecraft after so many years. Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, let's say hi to Pumpkinhead one last time. So if you want to see more, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another series. Like I said, we may come back to the series and do some more builds at some point, but I think it might be more interesting on hard or hardcore, which I am going to plan on doing a hardcore series after the island survival at some point. So look out for that. But anyway, thanks again so much. Have a nice day.